Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Randall Sorrells, ACS 880 Marketing Manager for ABB Drives. And I'm Bill Nyback, Senior Application Engineer on the industrial side. If this video becomes useful to you, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, you'll be notified the next time that we come out with a useful training video. All right, in this setup, we have a Compact Logics PLC talking to an individual drive, in this case an ACS 580. Uh, we're passing start stop speed reference to the drive, and then we have a CP600 HMI that's controlling that. So what we're going to show is that these three drives are all compatible, firmware independent of, of the PLC when we control these drives. So with this first one, I'll give it a start command and give it a speed reference. We'll let it ramp up, and then I will stop the drive. I'll disconnect the Ethernet cable, and then we'll go move on to our ACS 880 drive here. I'll plug it in. We'll wait till communications establishes. Once the communication establishes, I'll be able to start the drive. So we'll start the drive, let it ramp up. Gets up to full speed. I'll stop the drive, let it ramp down. Unplug the Ethernet cable, move on to the ACS 380. Plug in our cable, let communications establish. Once communications established, I'll be able to start this drive, and we'll let it ramp up. Ramps up to the speed, and we can stop the drive. So all three drives basically are controlled, same speed reference, same start stop. I did not have to touch anything in the PLC. So Bill, how is this beneficial to our customer? So this benefits the customer by not having to change their connection set up inside the PLC, regardless of what product you have. So my connection setup that I use for an ACS 580, 880, or 380 is going to be identical on the PLC side, uh, regardless of which product you're using. So we also have the benefit of using the same COM cards on all drives. So we use the same Ethernet module. We're all compatible. So all the option modules for the Ethernet are all going to be the same. we got this one here, here, and here are all identical. Um, we're also firmware independent from the PLC connection. So the firmware that's in this drive and the firmware that's in this drive is completely irrelevant for as far as the connection goes on the PLC setup. So at the end of the day for our customer, you know, when that inconvenient failure does occur, which is inevitably going to be on holiday weekend, mm -hmm. their mean time to recover is drastically reduced, it sounds like, because now they don't have to have a high-tech PLC nor a high-tech drives guy to come in and, and do the change out and get it back up and going. Exactly, exactly. So on the ACS 880, we have this memory module here that stores all the parameter settings, the firmware and everything in here, and the, is all set up inside this module. So if something happened to the drive, replace the drive, swap out the memory module, put the COM module on, you're up and going. You don't have to touch anything on the PLC side. For as far as the 580 goes, we do have an automatic backup feature built into the keypad. So if something happened to the drive, you replace the drive, put the COM module on, plug in the keypad, and automatically restore that parameter setting into the drive. No, nothing to touch on the PLC. Well, that sounds great, Bill. I really appreciate you running through this for us. Yeah, no problem. I hope this video was beneficial to you. We appreciate you tuning in. And if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to ABB or one of our authorized channel partners. And as a reminder, if this was a useful video to you, please hit the like button. And then if you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified the next time we come out with a video. Thank you.